how can I express my gratitude for all the many things you've done for me? Hey, my name is Joe Metal and you're watching Ekasa TV. Keep watching and stay blessed. God bless you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for staying tuned on Yekasa TV. My name is Jabril, aka Facebook Assemblyman. Today I have here a powerful gospel artist. Uh, he's also a man of God. He's also um, a songwriter. Uh, I'm told he does production as well for himself. Uh, he's He's popularly known as MOG Music, but um, in real life, he's called Nana Yao Boachi. Today, we want to talk about gospel. We want to talk about he, MOG, and how things are going on for him, especially now that COVID-19 uh, has conquered most of us or all of us in this world. Thank you for having me, bro. Thank you. Thank you for coming over. It's thank a pleasure. You. Just a quick uh, short notice. And yeah, yeah. We thank God. <laughs> How is the COVID dealing with you? Uh, we are managing. All of us, the whole world is managing, so all of us are managing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to start hard, but since, uh, you know, we've met previously and then we had some few conversations via Instagram and stuff. Right. The last time I saw you was at the VGMA, no, was it the nomine, uh, jam? nomination Nomination, yeah, nomination jam, yes. yes. Uh, how how did you get on that on that bill? Because I'm told VGMA is very hard to be on to be on their platform. Um, yeah, it's very hard. But then again, um, hard work pays. So when you put in the effort into your craft and um, a little a certain level of professionalism in terms of your delivery and how you 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 go around your craft, you get the attention of of um, the board members, you know, or um, do the, the key people in the industry. So by so doing, you are given the opportunity to enter this award scheme. And if God is on your side and the, so with the support of your fans, you are able to win some awards at home. So basically, I, I believe that it's, it's, a, it's a, a dent of hard work you know, that has brought us this far. Even though we were not expecting it, but if it has come, why not? I mean, it's, it's good news. You got a nomination. What nomination? I got four nominations. Four nominations? Yeah, four. Um, Gospel Artist of the Year, Male Vocalist of the Year, um, New Act of the Year, and I think Song of the Year. Which of them will you be rooting for? Will you be like, oh, this one, if I get it, I'm, I'll be very, really, very, really, really happy. Oh, I, once you've nominated me for all the four, I'll root for all of them. Yeah, so <laughs> you will be rooting for Gospel Art of the Year? No, everything. We are taking everything. Oh! Uh, by the grace of uh, God. Are, by the grace of God. <laughs> I, I have been following you for a while, yeah. but to be sincere, I never knew you were a pastor. How do you combine pastoral <laughs> job and, and music? Um, it's, 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 it's difficult, uh, I must say, um, because um, you have a local church you have to serve, mm -hmm. and um, aside that, um, your songs are all over. There are, they are, they are shows that you have to be on. Sometimes you have to travel and leave your local church. You know, so it's, it's, a, it's a matter of planning. Mm -hmm. When you're able to plan well, um, you are able to um, satisfy both departments uh, if need be. You know, places where you have to sacrifice one, uh, one of them, you sacrifice it and make sure that um, there's somebody to cover up if need be. You know, so basically that's how it's, it's just um, careful planning. So I really plan my year, you know, before um, even the third, the third or second month of the year, I, I plan my whole year. Let me be sincere and frank with you. Mm. I've seen us and they are following on social media and stuff. Right. But to be sincere, yours is very massive. I went on your YouTube page yes. days ago <laughs> and I saw the following, the views you get, your Instagram. <laughs> How do you get those numbers? <laughs> ah, it's not easy. It's not easy, it's not easy. But for me, that's what I said, yeah? Um, if you really work hard mm. and you put out very good products, once people come into connect, contact with the product, automatically they fall in love with you, you know, and they begin to um, support what you're doing. If it's really impacting them, I mean, why not? They'll always come asking for more, you know, so that's basically um, um, what I, I, I looked out for, to make sure that what is going out there will impact lives, basically. And, and once it's doing that, those who are being impacted are those who are following. You know, and that's what is always making our numbers grow. I mean, in the space of one year, um, my following on, 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 on Instagram, you know, quadrupled, and on YouTube, I mean, it's, it's skyrocketing, yeah, you know. So 
it, it's, it's the quality of the work we put out there, the investment we make, um, the prayer we pray, you know, and, and, you know, basically God has his own way of, of exalting, yeah, because you know. 24 million views for a video <laughs> for YouTube. You talked about investment. Did you see, let's, let's talk about the music side of it. Did you see yourself becoming a musician from day one of your life? Um, I loved music um, growing as a child, but becoming a musician, no. Um, it's over time when I realized that um, my desire for music, there was nothing I could do about it because um, growing up as a child, those times we had Walkman, you yeah. know, where you put a cassette in. And I'll be listening to songs and the, the headphones to my ear, and I'm walking in town, I'm throwing my hands like I'm playing the drum. Yeah. And people will think I'm mad, you know. So it, it was at that level that I knew that, look, bruv, this thing, it's part of me, and there's nothing I can do about it, you know. So that's when I started take, taking music serious, and um, it was in. It was actually in. I didn't take it as a career then. It was actually when I finished um, 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 secondary school, going into the university. That's when I was like, no, I think this music thing can be a career, you know. So it delayed my going to school. Should I go full time music and forget about school, or should I go to the university? So that did delay, and I decided to go to school and still do the music, which. Of course, helped. Is it paying off now? Oh yeah. Are but, you proud of it? Yeah, by the grace of God. Did, when you were coming up, did your parents say like, oh, no, 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 no? When you started making that decision of going. To <laughs> well, my dad definitely. You know, fathers um, have plans for their children, mm -hmm. and my dad um, was not in support of me doing music, mm -hmm. um, not for a bad reason, but he wanted me to, me to make sure that at least I have a job that secures me as a man before. I can look at music if music will give anything, you know, because he he didn't see anything coming out of music, you know. But um, some of us also didn't know we could get something about it. We're just purely driven by desires and and um, the energy that we have, and um, gradually it's paying off. You have you you've been here for a while. Yeah. In the entertainment industry, specifically in the gospel fraternity. Uh, I've, I've I've heard a so songs from you and other gospel artists. Yeah. Well. With the likes of Joe Metal, Ohima Messi, and yeah. even Sarkozy. Yeah. Which of these artists did you collaborate with and you felt like, look, this one actually, yeah, I love it? Well, um, I, I love all my collaborations with all the artists, you know, but the one that's really. Um, was, there was a clear bond is, is, is the one I did with Sarko there. But mm -hmm. I'm sure probably because um, we are childhood friends. Mm -hmm. and we grew up in the same neighborhood. Yeah. Um, we grew up playing together as children, you know, and we, we have that kind of connection even at this, um, at, at this our, our current age. Mm -hmm. And he's very busy on his own. I'm also very busy on my own. But when we have time to catch up, we, we, we have a lot of things to talk about. So I think basically because of that, I mean, I felt that kind of connection. But I love all my collaborations I do with, um, those that I do on my album and that I do featuring for others. Okay, so yeah. you, you literally grew up in Tema? Yeah, uh, I'm a Tema boy. The same community we saw the community now, C9 for life. Ah, C9. <laughs> <laughs> okay, C9 uh, yeah, so yeah. That means that Tema C9 wasn't specifically only for uh, no, Charlie, T9, I mean, gospel, everything. Cool, everything. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Emoji, um, do you think that gospel music is penetrating to the international level? I would say yes, because I can use my music as an example. Um, I released um, Belifted um, without knowing anything about international promotion mm. or anything. And honestly, I didn't do any international promotion or nothing. I just placed the video on YouTube as I did, I do to all my songs, and um, put the, the link on Facebook, and I just left it, you know. And to my surprise, I, I woke up some few weeks after um, to realize that the video was just gaining momentum. I mean, people were just commenting, what's this new song, where's it from? And um, the song did not hit from Ghana to abroad. It, the song was a hit abroad before, before Ghanaians got to know that, hey, there's somebody in Ghana whose song is big abroad. And, I mean, my song is big in the U.S., it's big in the U.K., it's big in Germany, Italy, um, Scotland, it's big where? South Africa, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Uganda, you know, Nigeria. I get calls from all these places and invitations from all these places to go there um, to go and minister. So... Um, Ghanaian gospel music is breaking through gradually into the international market. I can, I can bear witness with my own songs, you know, that um, I've produced and I've placed on the market. What makes you unique from other, other gospel artists? 
Uh, my style, you know, um, you cannot put me in a box. I'm very versatile. Um, yeah, and I cannot. <laughs> with a song with Sarkozy, yeah. I thought you, there was some rap. Yeah, you know, you know I'm very versatile. Um, um, people would think that, oh, MOG is just a worship leader before they realize I'm on a joint doing a praise, before they realize I'm doing urban gospel, you know. Um, before they realize I'm doing reggae, you know, and all that. So um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a blend of everything, you know, but um, somebody who is gifted in that way has to be very careful because you might end up dimming the spotlight, you know, the spotlight of my music is the worship area. That's what people know me for, you know, but the urban and the, you know, all the others, it's a form of adapt, you know, so that's, that's, that's the thing. Once you know that your spotlight, you, you do a more, more on that side, and the others can support the spotlight basically. What's a new project for him? Um, so as I'm talking to you, you're the first person I'm telling. Ah. <laughs> Yo, this is exclusive. <laughs> exclusive, <laughs> exclusive. Yeah, and um, so I recorded my my fifth. Uh, was it my fifth album? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my fifth album just before the ban on social gathering. Okay. Um, uh, we are done with the album. So somewhere on the 24th okay. of um, July. We are releasing a single on the album titled Jesus. Okay. And um, yes, it's going to impact the way we are praying it impacts life the way all the other songs have, you know, impacted life. So on the 24th of July, exclusive, we are dropping a single. Yeah. Be ready. I'm sure I'm going to be the first to release it. So of course. <laughs> stay tuned on this channel for updates of MOG and his music. Right. Let's talk about soul winning. Yeah, we know. They say gospel artists. Yeah. It's you know, when you put out a song, it's supposed to win. So do right. you think that majority of gospel artists in Ghana are really doing the work they are supposed to do? Well, I can't say for any gospel artist, mm. uh, because like you, 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 you know, you you follow them, you know what is happening. Oh, you, I mean when you are when you, when you when you pass a comment on based on the face value, mm -hmm. I don't think it's fair. Um, you need to carefully understand what the person is doing, the the person's vision, um, the people he wants to reach, and all that. Mm -hmm. And for me, doing that is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You never see the rest of my life, exactly. you know. And there are, there are lives that my songs have transformed that I might even get not get the opportunity to hear of. Mm -hmm. So the fact that these things are being recorded, you know, in my favor. Um, in heaven, hopefully, uh, I believe that um, that's what makes it count, you know. Um, if I'm able to impact a life without me even knowing, I mean, I'm grateful to God for it. Sure. Yeah. To be sincere, I guess uh, before this particular interview I mentioned to you, I didn't know anything about this Pentecost singers or mm -hmm. Pentecostal songs, yeah. Methodist songs and that. Me, maybe, the, apart from me, the others watching there, what is the difference between the Pentecostal songs, the Methodist song, and all those things. Is there, is there something special? It's not, it, there's nothing special about it. Um, it all boils down to um, the location of pe the person writing the song. You know, is he a Presbyterian? Um, if, you, if he writes a song, it means the song is a Presby song, mm -hmm. you know, especially when he writes it for the church. Mm -hmm. Um, is he a Methodist? It songs makes it a Methodist song if he writes for the church. So when you open the Methodist hymn, most of the hymns were written by Charles Wesley. Mm -hmm. um, he's a Methodist, so automatically they are Methodist hymns. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, what I believe would differ is probably the melody or the progression, you know, or the approach, okay. you know, but um, basically all of them have one goal, um, one purpose, I believe, and uh, to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I believe that yeah, that's what that's what the, the, the songs do. You, you, know? you remember, I just asked a question about why gospel artists isn't penetrate, or do you think gospel artists really uh, gospel songs really penetrate yeah. through the world? Uh, there was this conversation about people uh, people doing Pentecostal songs, people doing Methodist, songs, and that is the reason why. And that's I'm putting reference to what Patience yeah. Nyako said some time ago on oh, okay. uh, on Nia FM. Oh, okay. Do you side with her? Oh, I don't in a way. Um, but what, what I have to say about this issue is um, these songs were written by forefathers, uh, founding fathers of the, of the churches. And um, as we know, um, there must be, for, for the next generation to hear about what the forefathers did, there must be a generation that will talk about it for the younger generation to know so that when the gen younger generation pick it up, they can also tell the next generation. Yeah. So if we, um, the gospel musicians, are privileged to have songs 
that were sung by forefathers, which are oily and uh, powerful, and, we are, and touching. And we are given the opportunity to sing it for the generation um, after us to also listen and know that, oh, these songs were written by A, B, C, D at such a time, and that's why they wrote them, and they were in this stage in which they wrote their songs. I believe it's a blessing, you know, so nothing stops anybody in the world from picking a song that Charles Wesley wrote or a song that uh, Apostle um, um, uh, Nina wrote um, years ago or Mama Eunice wrote years ago to say that I'm singing these songs to impact lives. I mean, once you seek the necessary permissions and the copyright, you know, you should be able to impact lives. So there shouldn't be that differences, that, that differentiation to be made? Well, no, I, I don't think so. Probably maybe she was trying to communicate something, but it didn't go down well, mm -hmm. but, you know, but I don't think that... Talking about trying to communicate something, okay, I, from where I sit and what I hear from people is, there is this group of gospel artists, there's this other group of gospel artists. <laughs> You are a gospel artist. Yeah. Which of these groups are you part of? Unless maybe you tell me because me, I don't know. <laughs> because I don't know I'm, the group. I'm told, yes. I'm told the Joe Metal, the Akese Brim Pong, and the others. They have a group. They have a group. Oh, wow. what's the then, name of the group? That's, that's, that's a different conversation. Oh, my God. Uh, but that's, what I'm, that's the fail. Yeah. Okay, now this is it. They say that. The English is my devil for me. <laughs> Is there this, are these groups existing? Um, well, to me, I've not seen any group. Mm. I've not seen any WhatsApp group. I've not seen <laughs> any Facebook group. Mm. I, I, and um, I've not seen any, any form of division. Okay. I, I strongly believe that it's people trying to um, um, share their opinion, okay. um, which sometimes may not sit well mm. with everybody. But, I mean, there's no um, segregation. There's nothing like that that I know of, you know. I'm speaking for myself. Yeah. You know, if there is, maybe I don't know. But mm -hmm. where I've got into, I've not seen any group, mm. and nobody has called me to join any group. <laughs> <laughs> Emoji. Yes, sir. Um, entertainment is kind, bro. Um, mm. Would you be doing more features with secular artists? Because mm. <laughs> there's this mentality secular yeah. artists are not righteous and stuff and that and that mm. they go to clubs and mm. that and that would you be doing more or would you be collaborating with secular artists with that mentality people have i don't have a problem collaborating um with a secular artist mm. uh, if i feel like doing it okay. or if the secular artist calls me mm. and wants me to do the song and i feel like doing it mm. you know i mean why not i do it um uh, there's something I always say, and I stand by it, that um, there's a place for the secular, so-called secular artists in the church. Yeah. There's a place of love, place of fellowship, a place of acceptance, um, the place of covering for the secular artists. You know, if we are preaching about Christ, and we are saying Christ is love, and they are also saying that they are preaching about love and the things about that's happening in the world, I think the best place for them to learn about love is in the church because we say we are love, you know, for Christ, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, you know, so if we are talking about love to them that come to Jesus and that Jesus loves you, the best place to learn love is in the church, you know, so we are, we are supposed to extend love to these guys to come and um, teach them the word of God, not to tell them to stop, but teach them the word of God. When they go home and the, the, the word begin to ring in their mind, when they go to the studio, I believe when they begin to write, the pastor's sermon will begin to play in their mind. Sure. It will inform their writing. Sure. Probably they can edit their writing a little bit mm -hmm. to make sure that it fits the music in the right way. Mm -hmm. you know? But because we've, we've cast them out, we consider them as cast out, you know, we don't show them any love, any respect. They're also doing things their own way, and it's, it's going against the society. Mm -hmm. We are paying the price for it. Yeah. You know? So I believe a time will come that um, this change will take place. If I am or you are given the chance to operate an organization like GAMU, because artists keep on complaining <laughs> that royalties aren't coming, uh, GAMU isn't doing anything for artists. Yeah. Do you side with such artists? I do, I do, I do. Because um, for me, yeah, mm. um, I would prefer that we get people who, who have managerial skills, oh, okay. you know, um, to, to take over mm. Gamro, mm. you know, people who, are, who have gone to school to learn how to manage. Okay. I don't, I'm not saying that those, they are not mm. proper managing, mm. managers, but it's evidence that 
the way the artists are being treated and what they are receiving, it's clear that the system is not working. You know, so why don't we get somebody who has gone to school to learn how to manage, you know, um, an accountant, mm -hmm. you know, um, the board of directors should be people who professional, professional a yeah, person. rather than um, our legendary artists, artists yeah, taking over, you know, and doing it because their artists are like ourselves. So mm -hmm. if we are also their age, it yeah. means we can also go and take over and man. No, mm -hmm. you know, we th there are people that understand how the system works. Sure. And they should be given the opportunity to work the system so that the artists can benefit. Mm. How is it that, that I get more, more royalties outside Ghana than I do in Ghana? It shouldn't be that way. There's this conversation between Nigerian gospel artists and the Ghanaian gospel artists. Mm. Where they say um, most Nigerian gospel artists actually got their shine or support, full support from churches they, they represent. Yeah. In Ghana, is, this, is, this, is it the same thing happening here? Well, I can't speak for every church, but I can speak for my local church, Royal House Chapel, um, in Fie, where I serve um, under um, the Apostle General Reverend Sam Um The man is very, 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 very supportive. Um, he supports his own. He invests. Um, he's always there. Um, there's none of my programs that he's missed. He's always there. Um, he, he would give me money um, for, the, for the video and all that. Oh. When it's done, when the song is out, um, he will help me with the promotion, call people that he knows that can help me promote the song, sometimes invest money in the promotion and all that. I mean, hey, he's been there from day one. So, As an artist, mm -hmm. is this what you would want to happen? Where in the case mm -hmm. of um, Nigeria, where, let's take the... Um, Pastor Chris, Embassy, uh, mm -hmm. uh, for example, it seems he has created a body. Right. Like a record label. That's that right. Is hosting this act. That's right. In your case, would, it, would you want that particular way, that thing to be created for you as well? Of course, why not? Once it makes the artist very comfortable, where well, the church has a record label, mm -hmm. managing the, the talents in the church, it, what it means is that you are keeping the talents in your church, they are not going anywhere. You know, anytime you're having a big program, if they are big artists and you put them on your bill, you know, I mean, one pastor Chris is having a program in Ghana and he says, Sinatra is coming. People are going to troop there because Sinatra is coming, even though people love Pastor Chris and all that. So if Apostle General is doing the same thing and MOG is big and he's having a conference, he says that MOG is coming. People will equally come to listen to my music and also be blessed by the word. You know, so I think it's very important that um, um, some men of God understand the essence of a record label, the church having a record label, to manage gifts in the church. However, it's a state of mind and a system that every pastor has to understand. So if your pastor does not understand it, it is for you to table it to him and explain. You know, because uh, sometimes it's very painful putting in money and before, you're not getting the results, yes. you know. So um, these are some of the things, measures, you know, we are, we are putting in place gradually here in Royal House. Personal. Disclose their marital status. Very married. I've been married for seven years now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> married for seven I years. Am a, I am a man. I am a man. I have three kids. I have three wonderful boys. Boys? Yeah. And your football team. <laughs> How yeah. many kids would you want to have? Um, so we just had the last one recently, so we are done. Oh, three? Uh, yeah. Boys? Yeah. One pair. We are believing God for a girl, but okay. yeah, as God will have it, He gave us a boy. So yeah. So how is the family doing? Great, great, amazing, amazing. I'm supporting. Yeah, ministry. she's 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 been there when we we're not even married. So. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, so from today. From today. How how long have you been dating before? We dated for four years. Four years. Yeah. Okay. We started when we were in level hundred. You know, so <laughs> yeah, what is that bread? yeah, right from level 100. Right from level 100, we started dating, and when we finished school, right? Is it a regular relationship thing where oh, yeah, bread, yeah, bread, did he, did he, did he, oh no, no, she was in Central University, I was in Ghana Technology University, okay. so there it was also a Saturday, you know, uh, with papaya, mm. you know, those times when you buy papaya. <laughs> If you come with that anger, that means you, 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 you,
uh, you you'd want to you know show her that you know yeah so I mean I would, she she would ask for papaya when I'm going I buy it for her mm -hmm. you know go and give it to her she eat we we'll talk and then I sit back in my trunk row come back home. To, ah, okay. to, <laughs> so when we drove back to school, you know, uh, you know, so that's how it was for four years. Immediately after school, when we started national service, we got married with the national service. Let's start on the exclusive you just gave us right now. Again, you, you are bringing out a project which will come. Yeah, 20, 24th of July. July. Yeah. That's a single. Yeah, a single from the yeah, album. The album will come yeah. later. The on. album will come later. That one hasn't been decided. Yeah, we, we are we are looking at August. Um, you know, August, late August or early September. Mm -hmm. Any featuring? Who should we be expect? Let's talk about the album. Um, on the album, we have um, Priyo Odede. Okay. Ebe is in, in Nigeria. Yeah. We have Prospero Chimana mm -hmm. um, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, we have Michael Stucky, a friend of mine from the U.S., okay. amazing gospel artist. Um, so these are the people that I have on the album. Emoji is breaking into Nigeria with two top Nigerian <laughs> artists in the U.S. as well. So stay tuned. This is Yekasa TV. Yeah, no, you're breaking. You're more exclusive. You know, he's bringing out a tight album. I'm going to be the. I'm sure I'm going to be the first to listen to the song, and I'll give you a gist about it. So stay tuned. Don't run away. Let's wrap up. What would you want to change in the gospel fraternity? Anything? Um, if there's anything that I'd want to change is how all of us have to be more united in this um during this end time um i mean the pandemic has shown us that um human beings we are nothing you know so the best thing you can do for a brother is to show the person love and support when the person needs it you know so if there's anything that i can do or change in our industry is to create a system where all of us can be bonded together true bonding you know and love and fellowship basically that's what i would, I'd, I'd wish for I know you have a lot of following on your social media. <laughs> Me too, sometimes I didn't want to follow you. <laughs> Some people would want to follow you more when they see this right. video. Where should they get you? And Why? your music as well. Great. So um, on social media, on Instagram is Emoji Music. On Facebook is Emoji Music. Um, on Twitter is Emoji Music underscore. Um, my music is all over iTunes, everywhere. Um, Amazon, Spotify, Uptown. When you type in Emoji Music, it's going to come up. And um, you can get my songs over there, download them, stream them, and let them bless you. Thank you very much for having me. I'm you. very, very grateful. <laughs> um, first gospel artist I, should, I, I, I have sat down with to have wow, a discussion. Amazing. And funny enough, I'm a Muslim. But I support the gospel. I support yeah. the word of God. <laughs> we need to spread the word. You need, we need to all change. You know, wherever you find yourself, try as much as possible to put God first. That is the most important thing. And I'm sure that's what MOG and the rest of the gospel artists will be preaching to you anywhere they see you or through their music as well. So let's support the gospel fraternity. Let's push them to the world. This is Yakasa TV. I would want you to also subscribe to this channel as well as um, go on Instagram and follow us on Yakasa TV and we'll give you more entertainment. Just thank you for watching. God bless you. Thank you.